Hello. Welcome back to the channel. Oh, I thought we were saying everything together. Un, deux, trois, go. Hello. Hello. Welcome, Welcome back. back. We are in Tofino, British Columbia. It's been raining for the last two or three days and it is still raining today. So we have to do a subject that is entirely filmed in the van. So we, we need to do a rainy subject. So let's talk about my mustache. So we are going to answer a question that we get a lot, which is, should I go for a dinette system versus a fixed bed? So we're going to talk about the pros and cons of each system. Mm -hmm. We're not there to start a debate. We just want to talk about the different options you have for your van. Obviously, we opted for the dinette system in this van, mm -hmm. but we're thinking of maybe mm -hmm. having a fixed bed in the other one. Yes, but before we start, oh, yeah. don't forget to hit that red subscribe button at the bottom uh, to show... Oh, I don't know where to... I think it's going to be on this side. No, Ooh, it... no, it's going to be on this side. I think it's right here. No. Anyways, doesn't matter. No, it's here. Anyways, and if you have any recommendations in terms of topics to see in this channel, yes. please let us know. That's how we choose the topic we discuss about. We mainly go with things that you guys recommend. So, so keep on doing it. Keep on doing it, y'all. Where was that accent from? Michigan. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we all recognize that Michigan accent right there. Oh, the pump. <laughs> you ready to talk about uh, dinette and fixed beds? Yes, please. Okay, let's go. Yes, please. Okay. <laughs> Very careful with the mattresses. From the end of the week, I'm a bum 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 because we were lazy this morning and we didn't do the bed, we didn't turn it into a dinette, we're going to start with the fixed bed, which is similar to this, but usually people have it way higher for the storage. So that takes me to advantage number one, storage. When you have a fixed bed, the mattress is about up to here. So that means you have like four feet, three feet of storage under the bed, which usually serves as a garage. So people have been putting wood, chairs, paddle boards, uh, bikes in there. You can have access either from the back, obviously, but from here as well, people will have like a door here accessing the garage in the back. So advantage number one of having a fixed bed, way more storage. Advantage number two of having a fixed bed is comfort. Now what we have here, because it's a dinette, it's a dinette, we have cushions that go on each side. We will show you. That means that we can't go with a mattress, like with a real bad mattress that we cut. We need to find just foam that we cut, which I find is less comfortable than a mattress. We managed to find something really decent and very comfortable, but the advantage of having a fixed bed is you can just put a real mattress on there, a double, a queen, a king, whatever. So that makes it very comfortable to sleep on. And comfort in a van is something that is really important. If you're going to drive long hours and then work and then go hiking, you want a good night's sleep. So do not go cheap on mattresses. Now, advantage number three of having a fixed bed is that you don't have to do the bed every morning which is something that I am going to like if we have a fixed bed. Obviously, all you have to do is just pull out the sheets at night, sleep in the morning. You just have to put everything back in place. As in for us, what we have to do is put the table up, lower the cushions. What we usually do is we put the blankets and the pillows and the sheets over there on top here. So when you have a dinette system, you have to figure out where we are going to hide, where you're going to put your things in the day when you're working because you don't want them all over the place. So having a fixed bed, Really easy setup, everything stays in there. You just go to bed, you make up the bed, and that is it. Now, cons of having a fixed bed. Number one would be you have to find an alternative working setup if you need to work from the van. Sometimes I work sitting here. I mean, it is feasible for a couple of hours, but at the end of the day, my back hurts, my neck hurts, my head hurts, so it's not very comfortable to sit for a long period of time like this with your laptop and everything. So if you want a fixed bed and you want to work from the van, try to find an alternative setup. What we do when I work from the bed, Dom works from the beginning. A lot of people recommended Lagoon uh, tables, like a, it's, a, it's an arm, an arm that pivots that you can put a table on and you can probably find a way to set that up in front. But that's the number one disadvantage of a fixed bed. If you want to work, you are not gonna be comfortable sitting in the bed all day. This I promise you and I learned it the hard way. 
Number two disadvantage of a fixed bed is you can't have a lot of people in the van. When it's raining and we have the dinette, we can sit like six people in the van and we can have two in the seats in front. Now when it's raining and we have the fixed bed, I mean you can have people sitting here but it is harder to eat with people in the van. It's just much easier when there's a table. So that would be disadvantage number two if you have like a family or you, you want friends over in your van. Dinette system, really nice to play cards, to eat, even when it's not raining, and but mostly when it's raining, you can have a lot of people in the van and do your things naturally and things that you'd usually do. And number three of the disadvantage for me is the lack of open space. So when you have a fixed bed, and your van is quite short that's like half of the van that you can't use during the day or that you use but it's not you know it's not moving space so when you have a very tall van when you have a very big van and the bed is either at the back or either at the front i feel like there's still a lot of moving space but in a really tiny 136 pro master like this one a fixed bed would just cut the van in half and we could just live in this space here during the day and this during the night so knowing that you sleep what eight hours a night splitting a van in two for just eight hours and knowing that we'd work from the van that's why we opted for the dinette system that's it and that took two minutes so it takes two minutes to put the bed in the dinette there you go So, pro number one for the dinette system. The open space design aspect of it. With the dinette system, not only you can use all of your van during the day, but it also looks more open. And some people, when they come in our van, they're like, whoa, it's, it's very wide, it's very neat. And, and the reason why we feel it's wide is because we have access to the front all the way to the back for daily operations. In a small space like a Promaster 136, this advantage is very important for us because the van is short, it's only 17 feet, and the cabin is only 10 feet long, so this helps feel like there's more space available. Advantage number two um, with the dinette system would be that you can have friends over. That's it. <laughs> the fact that you have a table uh, triggers a lot of social situations. For example, in this van, it happens quite often that people sit down inside when it's raining or when there's bad weather to talk, drink a glass of wine, play cards, play on their laptop, work, etc. So this is not only the place where we sleep, but it's also the place where we socialize. And when you're camping in the woods for weeks and you're meeting with friends that are living in smaller spaces, this is a very welcoming place. If we hadn't had this, is that the right verb tense? If, if we, we hadn't had this? If we, if we didn't have this, we would probably feel a bit more crammed with a fixed bed. So definitely this is helpful um, for uh, talking, drinking, eating, socializing and working. It's a very, very useful piece of wood and uh, yeah. My, he my head is in the light. I can't see you. You ready? Yeah. Advantage number three of the dinette system would be that it allows you to work. And if you're a digital nomad or any kind of professional, if you have a short van, you are going to need a workspace. And unfortunately, on a fixed bed, you can't work for a, period, a long period of time. This is the option we have with Marie here because she can work on this half of the table with her laptops and everything. And I can work here with my hard drives, my cameras, and etc. So this is absolutely essential for workers on the road if you have a small truck you need some kind of table i know people will say put a table in the front that's also a good a good idea and if you absolutely need a fixed bed for example because you want um sports gear built beneath it you are gonna have to think of where you're gonna work if you need to work in your van because working in a bed is not 
the best thing you can do. So this is absolutely a good working station and I absolutely love it. We can sit here for long hours, just, you know, talk, discuss on what we, we have to do, what we have to put online and that's great. Now for the Dynet cons. Dynet cons number one would be um, lesser storage or smaller storage space. For example, you probably noticed that this is where we can put all what we have. However, this is probably one third of the capacity someone would have beneath a fixed bed. It's useful, it's nice, but it's not that much. If you have bicycles or if you have large sports gear, this is not what you need because this is too small. For uh, winter jackets, uh, rain jackets, etc., that's great, but that's pretty much all you can put in there. So it's, it's, it's not as much storage as a fixed bed. I know a lot of people think it's a big disadvantage for this kind of system. And I have to agree with them. Dinet cons number two would be that you have to be very careful with the mattresses you buy because this is what we sleep on. So we had to carefully choose these. We had to go for a sleeping foam that was available near uh, our house. However, I'm pretty sure this will never be as comfortable as a thousand dollar or two thousand dollar a uh, queen mattress that you can find at any kind of sleeping store. So you have to make sure you're careful with what you buy regarding mattresses in a dinette system because you have to buy sections and obviously you're going to have to rely on foam pieces. And foam pieces can be very hard to chew. I have a question. Yes. Can you feel the cracks? Which crack are you talking about? The cushion cracks. Oh, uh, um, no, we can't feel the cracks between the cushions because they are very tightly fitted to the walls like this. If you feel the cracks with yours, you can also, you, you can put a liner just on top of it when you sleep to avoid the cracks uh, in your back. Dinet cons number three would be that you have to put the table down when you want to go to sleep and you have to put the table up when you want to use it. This is a con because it takes around two to three minutes to do so, but it's also very annoying when, when you're sleepy at night and you don't want to make the bed in the middle of the night. Um, so we understand that this is not really practical if you're in a hurry or if you want to, if you, if you, if, if you just want to finish my sentence. <laughs> eh? We understand it's not really practical when you just want to jump in bed at night when you're tired because you actually have to build your bed every time and build back the table when you want to work. So this is a bit of juggling with your furniture. Some people find it very annoying. I think we're okay spending five minutes a day to do that. It's just a bit of management if you're not used to moving stuff around. So that's a bit of a con, I can understand. Sometimes we're really lazy. Uh, when we wake up in the morning, we're like, no, we're not putting the table back up because uh, we don't feel like it. So we basically work in the bed occasionally. And uh, that's it. That would be the third con. Let's recap. All right. So if your main priority is comfort, go with the fixed bed. Yes, just because you have access to quality mattresses that are meant to sleep. Yes. Now, if you want something that is a little bit more social, go with the dinette. Yes, because you can invite friends over and you have plenty of space for them. If you're looking for something that is very multifunctional, dinette wins. Because you can use the table to drink, play cards, eat, etc., etc. In terms of setup time, fixed bed obviously doesn't take a lot of time to set up your bed. It's automatic. Automatic. Design, uh, this is just a very personal opinion. Opinion, but we feel like dinette offers a more open, open space, space feeling yes in a small space like a pro master you want something that does not take too much space right obviously storage uh fixed bed wins all the way yes it has up to five times the amount of storage a dinette has and finally in terms of look that's just really personal so dinette or fixed bed it's really up to you yep Ta -da! okay all right all right guys so that was it um, hope you liked it. Hope it was informative and educative. Um, educative. Educative? Educative. I don't even think that you can say that in English. Informative. Informative. Whatever. When you learn stuff. <laughs> yeah. We hope you learn something. Yes. <laughs> now remember that it really, really depends on what you want to mm -hmm. do with your van, the model of the van as well. Personally, if it is to work full time on the van, we do recommend a dinette system if you don't have another working space at the back. Yeah, it helps. If you mostly need the space for paddle boards, bikes, whatever, I think a fixed bed is more 
of a good option for you, but again, it really depends on your needs of what you want to do with the van. Show us your setup, yeah. actually. Tell us uh, what kind of setup you have and why you have it, and maybe it's going to help us decide on if we're going for fixed mm -hmm. or dinette system in the next van. Yeah. We know there's a lot of arguments that we probably missed on both sides, and we would like to hear them. Absolutely. All right. Now, if you want to see more pictures of the van, you can head out to our Instagram page. We have a lot of images on there too different angles as well different so angles as well see. yeah from the back and, uh, from the bottom from the top from the now at the beginning now to the top <laughs> and uh, don't forget to subscribe and that, is and that is it see you next week okay bye bye now <laughs> It's a shoe show. So we need to figure out a way to put shoes.